Hello, McVeigh Dragons. This is uh, welcome back to Music Class with Mr. Thornley. This is Volume Four. And this is for fifth grade. Um, last week I told you I was going to go over with the rhythm patterns, what they look like written on the staff, and this is what the rhythm patterns look like. Uh, we'll go over that in just a second. Uh, hopefully um, you went over last week's lesson, Volume Three. Um, you had an activity you were supposed to do, uh, listening to Child of the Universe. Um, and on the A section, you had to clap um, a pie pattern, like one, two, three, four. And then on the B section, you had to go rest, pie, rest, apple. Hopefully you're able to do that on Child of the Universe. Um, like I say, give me any comments if, you have, if you're doing really good or if you're having trouble. Uh, the, the hard part was to be able to switch the patterns uh, once the uh, section switched, there's not much time to do that. You got to be thinking quickly. Um, anyway, I'm going to start off today. We're going to go ahead and go over what the rhythm patterns look like written on the staff. Um, and then uh, after that, we're going to work on our main focus is still sections and form. We're going to work on a new song, um, uh, a song from Mexico called Jesusita. And we'll do that. And I want you to be able to determine what. I'm going to play through it and hopefully you can determine, determine what form it's in. And um, uh, let's see, what else do I have here? Um, and I'll talk, give some more instructions once we get to the song about what I want you to work on for an activity um, to do for next time. Now, um, if you remember, because we have gone over this, I know it may be a little bit hard to see. I don't know if I can get this a little larger or not. Hold on a second. I see, whoops, a little too big. All right, well, I can get some of it. All right, this is a whole note. It looks like this, a hollow oval, if it's written on the musical staff. We went over the music, musical staff in volume two, so refer back to that one. It's kind of hard for me to switch back and forth on my TV here um, with my PowerPoint, but anyway, um, the whole note looks like that. So if you see that in uh, Mr. Stiltz and Ms. Massagin's class, you know that's a whole note. And for right now, you're working on a quarter note being the pie. So when you hear pie, that, that'll look like this one, the quarter note, which means this is going to get four beats. Okay? So when you hear this, it's going to be pie, right? Four beats. It's going to ring for four beats. Um, and this is a review because we went over this in class. Um, come back to that in just a bit. This is the half note. The half note's got the hollow oval and the stem. And if this gets four, all right, this is going to get two. So it's going to be pi, just two beats. This is four, that's two. And this is our main beat pattern. Uh, it's our main pi, pi, one beat, one sound. So if I had four of them, Pi, 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 pi. Remember that? So this gets one. The half note gets two. Pi. This is a dotted half. The dot means you get the half plus half of that. So if the half note gets two and half of that's one, two plus one makes, yes, three. So that gets three beats. So it's like pi. Three beats. So it's pi. Okay? So the whole note's going to get four, rings for four, the ha dotted half's going to ring for three, the half note's going to ring for two, and the quarter note's going to ring for one. Now, let me slide this out just a little bit. Okay. And then we have the, um, the patterns that are less than a beat. Okay. I mean, not, it's wrong. I shouldn't say less than a beat. I mean, the apple pattern here is going to equal one beat, but the beat's broken down into segments. That's what I meant to say. All right, so the apple pattern has two, what's called eighth notes, that equal one beat. So if my beat's like, before we had pi, the quarter note pi, pi, then the apple would be bum bum. One beat with two sounds evenly played. Apple. All right, so, you know, here your your whole note. That's your four beat pie, dotted half. It's three beats, rings for three beats. Pie, half note two, pie, quarter note one, 
pi, and apple gets one, but it's two notes over one beat. Bum, bum, apple, okay? So I'm gonna get to, so, and then when we have our rhythms that are broken up into more segments, we'll go to, let me go to my next slide. Okay, we have the strawberry, and I know you can't really see it, but generally three, uh, strawberry's got three above those eighth notes because they're shorter sounding eighth notes. Depends on what meter you're in, but um, it's hard to see that three, it's really small. But anyway, so let's see if I can enlarge it a little bit for you. A little bit bigger. So this would be strawberry, okay? Three notes played evenly over one beat. Strawberry. Then you have your gooseberry pattern. And by the way, these are three eighth notes over one beat, which are shorter sounding eighth notes when compared to the apple eighth notes. Then you have the gooseberry pattern. You have an eighth note and two sixteenths, and it's long, short, short. Gooseberry. Bum, bum, bum. If you take the second beam, it's over there. It's the beam there and beam there, right? You take the second beam over there and put it on the other side. You now have apricot. Apricot, or short, short, long. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, and then if you take the second beam that this has, you split it up, partly over there, partly over there, but nothing in the middle. That's short, long, short, which is pot, pie, pot. Okay, pot, pie, pot. Bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. All right? So this will be a 16th note, eighth note, and 16th note. These are two 16ths and an eighth, an eighth and two 16ths. Okay, you're going to see these rhythm patterns, especially when you get to sixth grade band or orchestra, you're going to see these. So you want to be, you know, have them down. Let me slide this up a little bit. Okay, and another common pattern you're going to see is the huckleberry pattern. It's got two beams going across, huckleberry, which is bump, 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 four notes evenly played over one beat, okay? Huckleberry, bump, 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 bump. Okay, so I want you to, you can refer back to this video, look at them, so you know what they, what they are, and if you put those on the musical staff that we worked on in volume two, and refer back to volume two, keep referring back to these different volumes that I'm doing. It's a good thing about having a video, you can always refer back to it. Um, that's what they look like. Okay, so if I had a musical staff with a lot of these different patterns on it, hopefully you could identify the patterns and know what they sound like. Speaking about knowing what they sound like, I got my bongos again, and I'm going to play um, one of the, uh, I'm not going to play the whole note or the, or the dotted half or the half note because and it, the note dies out. Now you could do a whole note like this. One, two, three, four, another one. One, two, three, four. But it's kind of like pi, rest, 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 right? Because it can't really sustain the note. Now, if I played it on my, on a, a piano or say a clarinet, I played it on a clarinet and I played a whole note, let it ring for four beats, you can really identify that. I'm just going to play either a quarter note pi, which is, you know, your pi, pi, or I'll play apple, uh, apricot, Gooseberry, strawberry, or pot pie pot. And I want you to be able to guess which ones I'm playing. I'm not going to tell you. Um, well, I will tell you after a bit. I, I, I was going to say I could do it next week, but I'll, no. I'll go ahead and play it, and then I'll, I'll tell you what it is in just a little bit. So here's, here's this one. What pattern is this? Here's my beat. What's this? I'm doing it over and over again. You should know which pattern that is. Hmm. If you said gooseberry, you're right. Okay, that was gooseberry, gooseberry. All right, which one's this? Here's my beat again. Do you know what it is? Okay, hopefully you said Huckleberry. All right, if you said Huckleberry, give yourself a pat on the back. That's a good job. All right, here's another one. All 
right? Know what that is? You said strawberry? That's correct. Okay, how about this one? Okay, you said apricot, that would be correct. Um, did I do this one yet? Let's see. Okay, you know what that is? Hopefully you said apple. This one. All right, hopefully you said pot pie pie. And this one. Okay, hopefully you said pie. Now, uh, I want to get to our song. So refer back to our rhythm patterns. Refer back to what the notes look like on the staff as far as pitch. That's the letter, F-A-C-E for treble clef staff. Every good boy does fine, treble clef staff. Bass clef staff. You got the spaces, all cows eat grass. A, C, E, G, lines, good boys do fine always, G, B, D, F, A. And then that would be pitch. And if you had these on the staff, you might have, you know, the gooseberry pattern and you might be playing three A's there. Or you might be mixing the notes up. Depends. Pitch is the letter. Rhythm is what we have here. Okay? So know both. All right. I'm going to turn this off so it makes me shine a little, show up a little bit better when I turn this screen off because this camera on my MacBook is light sensitive to different things here. So let me just do this right here. Okay. Now, I we're going to learn a new song. I said, um, I'm going to sing through it and I want you to know the sections to the song. And I want you to tumble the form it's in. I'm not going to I'm not going to tell you today. I want you to do it, and we'll we'll go over next time. Uh, also, I got my another electric guitar of mine that I had. This is a 1978 Les Paul Custom. And okay, so I'm going to use this today. I know it's a cool looking guitar. It's also pretty heavy, by the way. And I'm going to do her song. And. It's called it Jesusita. Okay, and I want you to figure out the sections on your own and tell me, uh, see if you figure them out. And then uh, also let me know what form it's in. Is it AB form, ABA form, or is it something else? Okay, so here I go. Uh, so let me see something. All right, it goes like this. It where you go dancing with me, how delightful! Where twinkling lights fill the air with their brightness. Where those who go know the steps to the music. Let's join our friends as they dance and not away. Be true to me, Jesusita. Be true to me if you please. Remember how much I love you, my heart you must never tease. You go dancing with me, how delightful! Where twinkling lights fill the air with their brightness. For those who don't know the steps to the music, let's join our friends as they dance and away. Be true to me, Jesusita. Be true to me if you please. Remember how much I love you. My heart in the celebrity. Will you go dancing with me? How delightful. With twinkling lights fill the air with the brightness. For those who don't know the steps to the music, let's join our friends as they dance and away. Be true to me, Jesusita. Be true to me if you please. Remember how much I love you. My heart must never tease. Will you go dancing with me? How delightful. With twinkling lights fill the air with the brightness. For those who don't know the steps to the music. Let's join our friends as they dance and away. All right. Okay. Okay, now what I want you to do is, like I said, know the sections. Hope you can identify the sections. Uh, at one point, I put a little wah wah pedal to help you identify. I didn't do it the whole time, but sometimes I, on some certain sections, I might have put the wah wah pedal, which is that 
wah wah sound you kind of hear. Now I don't know how it's going to come through on this computer because the microphone kind of, when you play instruments, it kind of gets louder and softer and has a little, doesn't have a great tone, but we'll see how it, it should come through good enough to, to hear it. Um, anyway, so do that. And uh, we're going to review it next time, this song, to see um, if you came up with the correct form and also can identify the sections. Now, um, what I'd like you to do this week also is put a dance to this. Change your dance, if you can, to my guitar playing and singing it. See so if you can just put little dance movements on the A section, if you hear an A section, and the B section, if you hear the B section, whatever. If you hear a C section, change your dance with the sections. Okay? That's it for now. Uh, keep practicing, going over all the videos, and keep referring back to, but try to view them in order first, So, because this is a progression. Uh, uh, okay, so with that being said, stay safe, be helpful to your parents, be respectful to all people. Um, by the way, I'm thinking about doing a, a video of uh, playing the McVeigh School Spirit song, Mr. Sadaka wrote, and doing it in a um, uh, rock and roll version. Okay, putting it up there. Maybe you can analyze that, evaluate it to see how he wrote it about the sections and what form it's in. Okay, with that being said, have a great day. See you later.